Okay, let's prove this identity. I'm going to start on the left-hand side because my left-hand side has tangent and secant, whereas the right-hand side is in terms of sine and cosine. So the first thing I'll do is rewrite the left-hand side in terms of sine and cosine. So I have sine over cosine plus 1 over cosine. And then I'll combine these fractions because we're going toward a uh, expression that is just one term. So this gives me sine of x plus 1 over cosine of x. And I want to get, I notice I have a sine of x plus 1 factor in my current uh, expression. I want to get to a 1 minus sine of x. So this think, makes me think of the Pythagorean identities. So in each case, let's multiply by uh, 1 minus sine of x. So I have sine of x plus 1 times 1 minus sine of x. In the denominator, this is cosine of x times 1 minus sine of x. So I have 1 minus sine squared of x in the numerator, um, cosine of x times 1 minus sine of x in the denominator. The numerator can become cosine squared of x. The denominator stays as it is, excuse me, 1 minus sine of x. 1 cosine in each uh, of the numerator and denominator can cancel to give me cosine of x over 1 minus sine of x. And that is what we're looking to prove. So we are done.